I'm here to talk about the theory of relativity and absoluteness in Excel. I'm using Excel 2013. It will work with any other version. Let's just talk about relativity first. We have these four people on the payroll. We're going to pay them. So it's equal this times this. Complete the formula. Pull it down. And when you look in here, I'll just make it look like currency so it's easier to read. You're in here. See how it says B2 times C2? B3 times C3? You're using the relativity of copying things going across. Federal tax. We're going to need an absolute because we have 20% taken out. It's a constant. So it's equal the gross pay. That is relative times the federal tax. We're going to hit the F. 4 key with the Mac it's Apple or command T I should say so you got dollar B dollar eight locking it in I pull it down and if you look here it's D2 and it's always going to be B8 and it's working with the relativity of the row again we're gonna go and do the state tax again absolute and relativity relativity with the gross pay equal gross pay times the state tax which is going to be a constant dollar B dollar nine if I didn't do it that way and I'm going to just show you this example here equal I'm just going to go over here times this and then I pull it down it's saying B10, B11. There's nothing in it. It's giving you a zero, okay? This is correct. I go up into here. I make it a constant with the function 4 key. Pull it down. When I'm doing the net pay, you don't lock in anything here. It's all relative. So it's equal the gross pay minus this minus this pull it down you're just working across here with Clark whoever subtracting it it's all there if you lock anything in like if I locked in let's say F2 I would always be subtracting 1144 I'm gonna go into a mixed reference okay this gets a little more complicated, okay? I'm using the payment function. And what it is here, you've got, you're doing a mortgage for $150,000. you have got things that you're locking in. This would be the cell here because it's always that. This array here is in a row. You're going to lock in the row. This is in a column. So we only need to do the formula once. You might have to think it out a little bit. And if you see yourself paying $82,000 a month on a $150,000 loan, you know you've got something wrong or you got the loan from Tony Soprano. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to formulas. I'm going to go here into financial. I'm going to go into the payment function, PMT. Now, we're going to do here, we're going to go into the rate first. You've got three parts here, the rate. Now, we're going to lock in the row where it's going to be B$3. So, if I hit the function 4 key, again, it's giving me the row, just B$3. Now, since we're paying a mortgage here, we're dividing it by 12, okay? Number of payments. This is the years, and what we need to do here, it's going to be dollar a four. You could literally type it in. I love using the F4 key. Hit it again. Aha. And since we're paying this every month, it's times 12. And if you see red things here, you got errors. The present value of the mortgage, we want it to appear as a positive. I hit the minus sign first. I click inside the $150,000. It's always going to be cell B1. It's never, ever going to change. So it's dollar B, dollar one. Now I have a formula here. 
try clicking on the formula here and then what I'm going to do I'm going to say okay and I'm going to look at what is going on here what I hit by accident unintentional but this happens here you can't say equal make it a minus sign if you get the railroad tracks you all know what that means make it wider and what I'm going to do now I'm just going to widen these columns so you can see the numbers instantly I click in here black cross here let go pull it down now we're okay 799.93 here now uh, if I were to change something here like the mortgage amount let's say I decide I want to get $175,000 mortgage I just go into here and I have these sequences of numbers here but let's say the realtor told me it was a 6% mortgage okay I just type in 6% you could see how it changes I could undo but it's giving me a little grid of what I can afford from 10 to 40 years hopefully this is explaining I'm exploring this thing out again in this one here you're locking in the row the data is in a row the third row where the number of payments it's all in a column okay oops I'm gonna hit the escape here because I accidentally clicked on something be careful and then here the present value is B1 good luck working with this the final statement that I do say it will come to you eventually you will have your aha moment